how will Amanda get out of this one? Will she and Gary ever get it together? Is her friendship with Polly really on the rocks? Forget it, will you? It was okay while it lasted, and it's over. Finished. So just clear off out. There was awful spots just before we had always had. That fellow wasn't enough for Jenny. She was angry for her. Wherever she could get it. face and neck, and within 24 hours, all I did it. Two times. That's only fashion. Teenagers get depressed. Right to Patty's page. Not so much a shoulder to cry on. I probably feel as ashamed as I do. And she deserves everything she gets. But why? Why should she do it? She never wanted to go along in the first place, did she? She did go along with it, didn't she? She worked just as hard as anyone. Oh, yeah. When she wasn't daydreaming, which was most of her time. I still don't believe it. What reason could she have? It's obvious. Someone put her up to it. Probably that boy she had a date with. Face it, Polly, she's the type. Yeah, let's face it, Polly. She's the type will do anything to please. Just like she went along with us when she wasn't even interested, so she went along with him. Our legs, that's what happened. But she'll blow whatever wind happens to be passing that one. She's right, you know, Paul. You can see her type everywhere. Faceless, minus girls with heads stuck in those trashy magazines. They can't see they're being conned. They can't see anything except getting a boyfriend and getting married. Pathetic. Yeah, and so is she. And we've wasted our time with her long enough. I'm waiting, Amanda. Well? I haven't got anything to say. Out! You're not going to be very popular. You do realise that. Your friends. Your parents. They're not going to think much of you after this, are they? Didn't before. Well, what does that mean? You're not leaving me much choice, are you? I can't let it go, you know, Amanda. It was a stupid, destructive act, and I am tired of repeating myself about this sort of thing. Look, I'm going to give you one last opportunity to say something about it, to explain yourself. Don't you care what happens to you? Not especially. Then I've no alternative. Warnings obviously don't work, so I'm going to have to get tough, and perhaps then the message will get through. You are suspended for one week. Their type everywhere. Faceless, minus girls with heads stuck in those trashy magazines. They can't see they're being conned. They can't see anything except getting a boyfriend and getting married. It's pathetic, pathetic, pathetic.
Why so blue? Because of what you heard them say about you. Come on. Jealousy, that's all, because you've shown you can get yourself a fella. All this nonsense about girls being mindless because all they're after is a boyfriend. A nice, steady boyfriend is all any girl could want, right? Amanda, someone to share your innermost secrets, to hold your hand through troubled times like now, right? Please. That's what being a girl is all about, isn't it? What all little girls were made for. Make it up with Gary. Or if not with Gary, make up to someone else. There are plenty more handsome hunks where he came from. Go away! Go away! Whatever's the matter? Who are you talking to? What is it? What is it, Amanda? Come on, tell me. Tell me. Oh, darling, it's all right. at school. I'm suspended for a week. Oh, Lord. I'm sorry. Try saying that to your father. Yes. Why are things so much more difficult than they say? Then who says? Everyone. Everything. Telly. Adverts. Magazines. Because it's easier to ignore the problems of life rather than to face them, I suppose. But why do people believe them? Because they want to. Those old dreams are only in your head. The song, do you know it? <laughs> Before your time, that's why. It seems easier then, for you. At your age? Well, they're more straightforward. The jobs were hard to come by, of course, but not as hard as now. There was less talk about all this nuclear business. Less death and gloom on the news. You know, we were told that we'd never had it so good. But that's not true for youngsters now, because, well, if it were, you wouldn't need to escape into those things, would you? Well, I'm not saying that it isn't good to have dreams, Amanda. But they must lead to something. Um, that's your dad. Oh, I'll leave this to you. Well, have you heard from the school? They sent her home. She's been suspended. For a week. I think they want to make an example of her. Well, I'll make an example of her. Frank, please, look, reading the riot act isn't going to help. And neither is standing about doing nothing, is it? Well, there is nothing we can do into, until you both come out. Susie, I can't live without him. But he looks more like Eddie. He's everything I dreamed a boy could be. The day Hello. she walked out on me. Was the day my life ended. Plain, the inadequate. He smiled at me. Love and only love. Leap into her defense. Leap into her defense. Hey, Susie, stop it. I want to work with you, young lady. Amanda! I didn't do it. The mule. I don't think you did. Why? So I'm too mindless to act on my own, eh? That's what people think of me. Well, you'd have to be pretty mindless to have done it, wouldn't you? How was the rest of it anyway? Your date with Fingy? Oh. It just didn't work out. It's not that important, is it? Or is it? 
perhaps it was just having a date that was important, rather than him. If you want to know, he wasn't interested in me. Well, what was he interested in then? Oh, he tried it on, did he? Oh, dear. Well, it's what you wanted him to do, isn't it? Not like that. So he messed it up. Could be he was as nervous as you. Who says I was nervous? Oh, come on. Look, people never live up to the dreams you have about them. It's not their fault, it's yours for expecting too much. That was the school. Seems that one of the boys has owned up about the mural. Back to school tomorrow. Amanda. Mandy. Look, I know I was a bit hasty. But I was only thinking of you. You know, what's best. Hey, you know that, don't you? Hmm? I'm sorry, I don't seem to be hungry. Smiling at me, dressing up like this for me. Better. You know it's what you want. It isn't. Oh, it's yours for expecting to me. I just want you to like me. Respect me. You are suspended for one week. Respect. You're a girl, 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 girl. You think I should go out and talk to her, then? One of us should. I feel like my silly bugger's letter. Oh, Michael. And Michael what? She's a miserable cow. She loves sulking. Well, I don't think she is sulking. I think she's confused and depressed. And we should help her. Yeah. Well, she'll, she'll probably go anorexic on us next. But we all know you've got all the answers. I don't suppose it's occurred to you she might be trying to find a few of her own. Amanda may have done it herself. But she never really cared about it. None of them did. From now on, I'm telling them to be after number one and they can go after themselves. <sighs> Look, we were stupid and naive to think we could change anything by one gesture alone anyway. One will learn by it, even if you're not. Contemporary poet, Stevie Smith. Now, we'll start by choosing a poem, reading and analysing it, and that way we should begin to understand some of her imagery and themes, and then we'll take it from there. Now, it's page 44, I think. Not waving, but drowning. Amanda, perhaps you'd like to read it for us. <coughs> oh, and while I think about it, I've just heard the careers office is coming next month. Ask in the general office for an appointment. You should think seriously about seeing him. Contrary to popular opinion, 
There is life after school, you know. <laughs> All right, Amanda, when you're ready. Nobody heard him, the dead man. But still he lay moaning. He was much further out than you thought. And not waving, but drowning. Poor chap. He always loved laughing. And now he's dead. It must have been too cold for him. His heart gave way, they said. Oh, no, no, no. It was too cold always. Still, the dead one lay moaning. I was much too far out all my life. And not waving, but drowning. Good. Fine. Now, the repeated refrain, not waving but drowning, any idea of its meaning, Amanda? People thought he was waving at them, but he was really drowning. And? Well, later, where it says, uh, I was much too far out all my life, and not waving but drowning. She means that people always got him wrong, all his life. And what was he drowning in, in the context of this poem? Gary? Um, life. Explain. Perhaps he couldn't cope, couldn't handle it, and no one ever knew. Couldn't cope with what aspects of life, do you suppose? That's for the reader to decide, surely. Could be anything. Well, like what? Mm, despair, that he was despairing somehow. Of life or himself? Well, both. Do you go along with that, Amanda? It says it must have been too cold for him. So? Well, like he was very alone. Because if you feel alone or feel lonely, you despair more easily. And drowning, it's like being alone as well. It's the same kind of feeling. Look, look, it wasn't my idea. The mural and everything. I was against it from the start. No. Well, why didn't you say something then? Why let me think it was you? It didn't seem to matter. It mattered to me. Amanda. If I call around tonight, only I, uh, I want to talk to you. With me or Michael? You, actually. It hasn't exactly made me very popular, you know. Is that why you did it? No, it isn't. Don't wonder now why I bothered. She's avoiding me, it's obvious. Why else wouldn't she say she was babysitting? School, can't you? Not to speak to. Oh, I hope you're not falling for this old tut as well. She's got everyone running around in circles, hasn't she? I don't see what all the fuss is about. She happens to be my best mate. Or well, was. We put pay to that, didn't we? Well, I don't see why. Well, you're not that dense. Because when I used to call round, it was to see her, wasn't it? Before you came in on the scene. Yeah, well, we always used to ask her to come, didn't we? Well, we made a point of it. Too much of a point, perhaps. Look, is this some roundabout way of saying you want to pack it in or something? Of course not. Somehow our getting together has left her out of it. It's complicated things. We did everything together. Suddenly she sees all that given to someone else. Worse still, her own brother. Oh, well, thanks very much. <sighs> She's jealous. Can't you see that? Look, if she is jealous, it's of Catherine. Getting married. A place of her own, a kid of her own. Well, that's all she's ever dreamed of. Always has been. That's what all girls dream about, right? I'll put this in the fridge for later. All right. right. Yeah, don't give it to her unless all she starts, right. though, will you? You sure you can manage? Yes. Come on, right. Kef. Cool. One night out and it turns into a Duke of Edinburgh Wall okay. Street. Okay. Go on. Have a day. Okay. Kef, come on. All right. Have a nice time. Oh, we won't be late. All right, fine. See you later.
amount of work has increased by 30,000 compared to figures covering the equivalent period last year. Once again, the group hardest hit by unemployment are school leavers. In answer to your House of Commons question, the important... How'd it go? I thought babies were supposed to sleep all the time. Whoever gave you that idea? Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Take that through to your father. He's in the garage, will you? I'll make one for you. Oh, oh cheers, love. Uh, yeah. Babysitting go okay? Fine. Your mother said you were feeling a bit down tonight. Is it about this boy or...? Not really. Oh, everything's cleared up at the school then. Oh, yeah. Looks okay. Yeah. Lick of paint, it's all done. I'll test fly at the weekend. Yeah. I always had a dream that one day I'd fly, not these little babies, but a full-size tiger moth. Got halfway to getting my pilot's license, too. Well, what stopped you? Ah, uh, money. Ringing up you lot. Little things like that. Yeah, dreams come pretty expensive one way or another. Yeah. What do you dream about? Me? Yeah. Boys? Travel? Do you mind me asking? You know. No, I don't know. Do you know, I was standing here tonight, and, and your mother let slip that you were down. And I suddenly realised that I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know my own kids. Not what goes on in their heads, at any rate. I'm not sure I know what's going on in my head myself. Sometimes I... Yeah? When I look at Catherine, and the baby, and I think... Is that what it's all about? There must be something more, surely. Oh, there is. You see, what I'm really doing when I have a go at you like I do, you know, upset you, it's just because of the dreams I've got for you. You know, getting on in the world, making something of yourself. And when I see all that threatened, I lash out. I mean, you do that with kids. It, it's a way of handling it. Handling what? <laughs> Despair. You feel that too? We all feel it from time to time. Just try and distract ourselves as best we can. I mean, why else do you think a, a grown man would spend so much time playing with, with toys? Forget it, will you? It was OK while it lasted, it's over. Finished. So just They'd clear stuff in those trashy magazines. They can't see there being cons. It's much too far out all my life. People never live up to the dreams you have about them. It's just because of the dreams I've got for you. It's much too far out all my life. Getting on in the world, making some years. So will Amanda ever get over her blues? Are all her dreams really in her head? To be concluded next week.